Vinyl Moon at Volume 53, Gilded Knights. Let's check it out. All right, so Gilded Knights, let's go ahead and take this out of the sleeve here. And you guys can already tell, look at this artwork. This artwork is crazy. It is crazy. This <laughs> Vinyl Moon, you guys always find the craziest artists. I love the artwork on all these records. Oh my goodness. Oh, check this out. Wow. It's very like pixelated, almost like 2D. But at the same time, I love the colors. Um, I, I love like the Egyptian kind of theme. Uh, it feels like it's really awesome. Well, let's see what it comes with. So of course we have all the song lyrics, all of the artists, uh, all of the song titles as well. You guys already know every single Vinyl Moon. Always great to have that. See what else it comes with. Ooh. Looks like it may come with, yes, it comes with stickers. Let's check out those stickers. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But I know why you guys came. That's why you're watching the video here. You guys want to see the record. And oh my gosh, you already know. This record is looking great. Um, I love I love the trans. Oh, 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 look at this record. Ah, it's so transparent, and I love the blue and the black splotches. Oh man, this record is sick. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, that's a beauty. I cannot wait to put this one on the turntable and hear what this record is all about. I'm very excited. This is one of the Honestly, I, I mean, this is definitely one of the best looking records. Um, I love just to clear the transparency on this record. That is amazing. So I'm going to put this on the turntable for you guys, and I'll be right back. All right, volume 53, Gilded Knights. So let's go ahead and kick it off with the very first track on side A. The name of the artist is called Golden Suns. The name of the song is called Shook. Um, and the first track sounded like such a laid back Cali vibe. Um, obviously, the artist is from Cali, uh, Los Angeles, California. And it just had that vibe to it. You can tell right off the bat. It was more of an alternative dream rock song. And it sounded to me like a relationship that's a little twisted. Uh, like they're infatuated on just trying to figure out each other and or maybe just more of him trying to figure out her um, but it did have a really nice bass groove that i like the next artist is called swim and the song is called windows up and it was more of like a psychedelic kind of pop song to me it felt like it was about having all the issues in the world but none of it really mattered once you're in your car or your vehicle and you're just driving down with the song blasting uh music playing loud and not a care in the world all that stuff just goes away um so it was really cool cool vibe to it um the next artist is called cuffed up the name of the song is called small town kid and it was more of a rock song uh and it was it was actually came on rocking like i was definitely liking this one um it's about being a small town kid a lot of choices to make and just figuring out you know we're trying to figure out which path to go um, and then the uh, next artist is called Slip. The name of the song is called The Patient. Um, this song had a deep bass line, um, more trip hop kind of sound to it. And it was more about a relationship that seems 
uh, to have just distance. Uh, the couple seem the distance uh, from each other, and they're basically trying to figure out, is it too late uh, for them to be together again and, and make it work? Uh, the next artist is called Clara Nova. The name of the song is called Free. And it was a more electronic uh, pop. Uh, it's just a song about being free and just being creative, being yourself. Um, I wasn't feeling the chorus and I wasn't feeling the intro, just the melody and the way that it was put together. I didn't like it, but I really did like the uh, groove in, in the verses. The, that, the instrumental in the verses was awesome. I really was digging that. And that was the last song in Side A. Moving right along into Side B, the name of the artist is called Gold Spectacles. And the name of the song is called If I Die, I Don't Mind. Um, and it was more of an alternative indie song. And I mean, the intro is just literally just fire. Like, when the intro came on, the first few notes, like, I could hear a hip-hop beat in my head uh, before anything dropped. I just heard it in my head. Um, but it's a song about just living it up and just whatever happens, happens, you know. Uh, you never know. So that was pretty cool. I was definitely digging, especially, like, the very, like, first 10 seconds of the intro uh, moving in to the next song the uh, name of the artist is called james super k the name of the song is called something to lose um i really like the the alien effect and in the intro it sounded really cool with the vocals uh but it's a song about trying to you know go home with someone you uh catch your eyes on whether you're like you know somewhere out and about or at the club or something like that and you're just infatuated with them and it was more of like a dance pop song itself uh, and it had a really cool synth, a uh, little breakdown um, in there. It was really, it sounded, I really liked that one. Um, and moving in to the next artist. The next artist is called Camarano. The name of the song is called Shadow Calling. And it was more psych, uh, psychedelic rock infused with some country. It had a little country vibe going on to it. And it's just a song about, you know, what the calling of life really is. And it's just going out and trying to pursue, you know, whatever. Uh, but ultimately, you know, you're, you're not going to go through with it. But you got to go out there and try it. And then, you know, that's kind of like your shadow calling. Um, that's what I got from it. Moving on to the next artist, Opus Vite. Uh, the name of the song is called Get Lost. Uh, it's a song about being anywhere, um, just, you know, but where you're at. And you feel like you're stuck and you just want to be out and about, just go somewhere else. Um, and then taking that journey with that person that you love. So it's just about going out and having an adventure with someone that you love. And then the very last song, the name of the artist is called Glom. Uh, the name of the song is called My Red Spine. Um, and it was more like pop alternative. And it was a really fun, upbeat uh, instrumental. I really liked the guitar riff on it. It was really cool. Um, and I'm not sure if the song is about like being seasick or not. I couldn't really tell by the lyrics. It was kind of strange. But um, nonetheless, it was definitely a fun get out there and kind of dance song. Uh, that I did like. So all in all, Gilded Knights, um, very different than what I thought, um, but it was a really, really cool mixtape. Um, out of all these songs, it's hard to tell which one I like the most, really. Um, ooh, I like the first one, uh, the first song, uh, Shook, but I also, no. Um, I liked Windows Up, and man, uh, this one's hard. I also like The Patient, too. I mean, I really, I can't tell you guys which one I like the most, but they were all good ones. I was really feeling it. So I just want to let everyone know, thank you guys uh, so much for checking out Vinyl Moon Volume 53, Gilded Nights. They do such a wonderful job with the artwork. The record looks amazing, as always. Vinyl Moon uh, finds the best artists uh, for everything, rather they're designing the actual record itself or designing the cover art for the mixtape. It sounds awesome. It looks awesome. Go check them out. Vinyl Moon. Just try at least a month. Uh, see if you like it if you're into vinyl. I know it's definitely been awesome for me. I love doing the reviews for you guys. Yeah, definitely check me out. I'll have my Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube channel, Reverb Nation, SoundCloud. I'll have all that in the description. Check me out. And I will see you guys next time.